Hi students, I'm your Komali ma'am. In this session, I'm going to teach you uh, exercise questions from NCRT. Actually, uh, NCRT questions plays an, uh, you know, NCRT plays a very important role during the preparation. If you are a class 11 student or a class 12 student or a repeater, you will come across through a phase where you have to solve the questions uh, from textbook. That time you will stuck at some questions and you feel difficulty while solving. So your Komalevam is going to teach you step by step. You know one one question I am going to solve. See very, uh, see uh, uh, let us see. Today, today I am going to teach you from mole concept. Okay, are you ready? Ready everybody? This is the first question from mole concept chapter. Step even small calculation also I will teach you because uh, when you are solving you will you will stuck at some points and you cannot ask anyone how to solve that particular step okay in your coaching also they don't tell you because time won't be sufficient teacher will tell you from this step to this step this is the answer but I am going to teach you step by step even small calculation also how to do are you ready? Let's see the question number one. Calculate the molar mass of the following. How to calculate molar mass? Every point I'll tell you, okay? Calculate the molar mass. Which molar mass you have to calculate? What a molar mass? H2O. How to calculate H2O molar mass? One hydro molar mass means mass of one mole of substance. What do you mean by molar mass? Mass of one mole of substance. So H2O. How many hydrogens are there? Two hydrogens and one oxygen. Each hydrogen is one gram. So two into one plus each oxygen is 16 gram. Each oxygen in the sense one mole of oxygen is 16 gram. Then it is 2 plus 16 is equal to 18 gram. Every point I will tell you. Step by step I will solve and show you. Okay. This is question part 1. Part 2 CO2. How many carbon atoms are present? One carbon atom. So 1 into carbon. How many oxygens are present? 2 oxygens, 2 into oxygen is equal to how much? 1 carbon is 12 gram plus 1 each oxygen molar mass is how much? 1 mole of oxygen 16 gram, correct? Then how much you will be getting? 12 plus 32 is equal to 44 gram. This is the molar mass of what? This is the molar mass of CO2. Will you do for CH4 now? Can you do for CH4? Yeah, try CH4. How to do CH4? CH, one Let's see for CH4. One carbon. How many carbons are there? One carbon. And how many hydrogens are there? Four hydrogens. So, one carbon plus four hydrogens. You know, by seeing only you can do. 12 gram, one carbon. 4 hydrogen is 4 into 1 gram. Understand? 12 plus 4 how much total? 16 gram. Easy right? Any difficulty in this question? No difficulty. Let us see question number 2. Calculate the mass percent of different elements present in sodium sulphate. How to calculate mass percentage? Let us see. Na2SO4. How many sodiums are present? 2 sodiums. So 2 into 23. Each sodium molar mass is 23. 
वन सल्फर इज हाउ मच स्टूडेंट्स थर्टी टू प्लस ईच ऑक्सीजन इज सिक्सटीन टोटल फोर ऑक्सीजन आर प्रेजेंट सो फोर इंटू सिक्सटीन देन हाउ मच इट विल बी टू इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस फोर इंटू सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी फोर नाउ एड ऑल दिस फोर्टी सिक्स प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस सिक्सटी फोर सिक्स ट्वेल्व दियर टेन फोर्टीन वन फोर्टी टू ग्राम करेक्ट यू ऑल्सो गॉट द सेम आंसर वन फोर्टी टू ग्राम हाउ मच इट इज वन फोर्टी टू ग्राम ओके नाउ लेट सी फॉर हाउ मच सोडियम इज प्रेजेंट राइट सोडियम हाउ मच सोडियम इट इज प्रेजेंट सोडियम परसेंटेज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट सोडियम परसेंटेज सोडियम इज टू सोडियम आइटम सो टू इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री दट इज हाउ मच फोर्टी सिक्स सो फोर्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टोटल वेट इज हाउ मच टोटल वेट ऑफ सोडियम सल्फेट वन फोर्टी टू इंटू हंड्रेड सेम वे यू हैव टू डू इट फॉर विच वन सल्फा सल्फा परसेंटेज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट थर्टी टू फॉर वन सल्फा टोटल वेट इज वन फोर्टी टू इंटू हंड्रेड इवन डू फॉर सेम वे फॉर ऑक्सीजन ऑल्सो ऑक्सीजन हाउ मच इट इज प्रेजेंट फोर इंटू सिक्सटीन दट इज सिक्सटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई टोटल इज वन फोर्टी टू इंटू हंड्रेड एवरीथिंग स्टेप बाय स्टेप आई एम गाइडिंग यू हाउ टू डू फोर्टी सिक्स बाई वन फोर्टी टू लेट अस सी हाउ कैन वी सॉल्व दिस पार्ट Roughly, I will tell you, denominator one forty two is there, right? So this one forty two, what I am going to do is, I am going to write as fourteen point two into ten. Clear? So how I am writing one forty two, fourteen point two into ten. So this fourteen here forty six is there, fourteen and forty six. Fourteen two sir, twenty eight. Fourteen threes. सर Eight four sir thirty two three eight one sir eight one one two so it will be eight comes here one one two then I'll stop it here I got three point two eight zero zero cancel three point two eight into ten how much it is thirty two point eight percentage done now let us see the next one how can you find the sulfur percentage sulfur percentage is same way you do Thirty two by one forty two as fourteen point two into ten. Here also hundred as it is. Now zero zero cancel. Now this thirty thirty two divided by fourteen. I am going to do fourteen thirty two. Fourteen two is are twenty eight. Four is left. Put point. Keep zero here. Fourteen three is are forty two. No fourteen two is are all right. Fourteen two sir again twenty eight. Then it will be twelve is left. So fourteen here I'll keep zero fourteen eight sir one one two. So I'll be getting here two point two eight into ten is left. So how much is the percentage? Twenty two point eight percentage. 
it takes some time see uh, i have done many videos like you know tricks shortcuts but whenever we do calculation you know on self that it takes small time but to show you step by step to explain it takes little bit of time have a patience whenever you need this question explanation that time you it will be helpful for you a lot now let us see for oxygen percentage if any point you know then you can forward it and you can watch it ha huh? 32 by 14 how to do 32 divided by 14 point 14 point 2 into 100 divided by 10 0 0 will be cancel 32 by oxygen is 64 no because 4 into here i'll do 64 divided by 114.2 into 10 is left so 14 14 you have to do 64 correct uh, then 14 5 sir 5 4 sir 20 70 five sir No, four zer, how much? Four four zer sixteen one four one zer four one fifty four fifty six correct? Then eight is left point zero fourteen five zer seventy na fourteen five zer we already done fourteen five zer seventy so seventy ten is left keep a zero then fourteen six zer. Eighty four, fourteen seven six zero eighty four, fourteen seven zero ninety eight. I'll keep seven. Clear students. Then we will be getting the answer around forty five point seven percentage. What do you say? Clear, clear, done. Shall we go to the next question? Ha, huh, see the next question. determine the empirical formula of an oxide of iron they have given the percentage of iron they have given they have given the percentage of oxygen we have to find the empirical formula how to solve this question how to find empirical formula let us see iron percentage is how much they have given 69.9 percentage and oxygen percentage is 30.1 percentage which means for 100 grams of the substance iron is this much percentage 69.9 gram of iron is present and oxygen is 30.1 gram is present how you have to solve this question first you have to calculate number of moles how you can calculate number of moles what is the formula to calculate number of moles formula is weight by gram molecular weight so weight by gram molecular weight what is the weight here 69.9 divided by gram molecular weight is 55.8 if it is for 1 mole 55.8 grams okay then same way find the moles 30.1 divided by its weight oxygen you know molar mass is 16 first you have to calculate the number of moles let's calculate number of moles how much let's take it as 70 and this is 56 round it off i am doing round it off this will be 30 divided by 16 round it off do the division do division here i am doing division check 56 Fifty-six divided by seventy divided by fifty-six. So fifty-six ones are fifty-six. Then four one fourteen point zero fifty-six two sir one one two. Then how much will be left? Eighteen. Correct? No, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is left. Again, keep zero. Fifty-six into double of this, so try five. Five six are thirty. 
फाइव फाइव सर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस थ्री ट्वेंटी एट टू एटी एस वाव हाउ मच यू विल बी गेटिंग टू एटी क्लियर एवरीबडी क्लियर टू एटी सो वन पॉइंट टू फाइव Our answer is 1.25. This is the number of moles. First, you have to calculate number of moles. Okay. Now calculate number of moles for this also. 16, 32. If it is, if it is uh, 32, uh, 32, then it will be 2. But it is 30, right? So 16 one sir, 16, 4, 1.0. Then it will be. Will you try uh, some eight? Sixteen into eight. Eight eight six sa. Forty eight. Four eight one zero eight one twenty eight. Correct. So one twenty eight. Then how much will be left, students? Twelve. You have to do exact calculation only for empirical formula because again you have to multiply with the integer. So How we will do for other problems like round it off? I mean nearest values we will do division and all. But empirical formula case that won't be work out. So NCERT questions you should observe carefully which model questions how your teacher is doing. Then twelve keep a zero sixteen five sir thirty five means eighty no. Sixteen, sixteen, seven, sir. Add thirty-two, na. Thirty-two. Okay. Now seven, sir. I'll keep seven, one, one, two. Then it will be your answer is one point eight seven. Just I found the number of moles. How I calculated number of moles? Weight by gram molecular weight. Whatever the moles you are getting here, divide that total number of moles. Suppose here this is one point two five. This is one point eight seven. What you do is just take this number of moles, which is the lowest number. Take that and divide that both. Now I got one point two five. Again, I am going to divide this 1.25 here. 1.87 divided by 1.25. Then I'll be getting here one. And here you see 1.87 divided by 1.25 is there. You have to do this one. If you don't do this one, you cannot solve further. Mole concept calculation part only. You have to pay more attention. 1.87. How to do? Come on. One point eight seven so I will write it as one eighty seven and this is one twenty five one twenty five one sir one twenty five seven minus five is two eight minus two is six sixty two correct now keep a point zero one twenty five Double is two fifty four five sir. Six twenty five no. So one twenty five four sir. Five hundred. Then five hundred one twenty five four sir five hundred one twenty I'll write here. Then one twenty five. Again, I'll keep zero because uh, you cannot do that. Then one twenty five around nine, sir, it will come. So I'll be taking around one point five. This is one. This is one point five. How to solve further? Do you understand the summary? Is first you should calculate number of moles. How to find it out number of moles? You have to take a weight. What is given in the question? Then divided by its gram molecular weight. You have to do. You will get the number of moles. Once you get the number of moles, you have to see that whatever the number of lowest number is there. You have to divide both. Once you get that value, you should divide with a suitable integer. Then only you can uh, get the simple number. So here one is there, here one point five is there. Then I will multiply this with the suitable number. Then how much I'll be getting here two? Here I'll be getting three. Then that its formula is how much students? Fe two O three is the formula. Got it? 
Got it? Now let us see the next question. Question number four. Calculate the amount of carbon dioxide that can be produced when one mole of carbon is burnt in air. See here, one mole carbon. One mole carbon is burnt in air. How much carbon dioxide is produced? Write the reaction C plus O2 gives rise to CO2. What is the stoichiometry ratio? This is 1 mole. This is 1 mole. This is also 1 mole. 1 mole of carbon how much? 12 gram. 1 mole of O2 is 32 gram. Why 32 gram? Because 1 oxygen is 16. 2 oxygen is 32. You should learn it. In coaching you will learn right? All this content you will be already learning. Here I am solving questions. Huh? 32 and CO2 44 grams. Because e carbon 12 each oxygen is 16. Then they are asking 1 mole of carbon is burnt in air. Then how much amount of how much amount of CO2 you are getting? 44 grams of CO2 means 1 mole of CO2. Amount they are asking. So, 44 is the answer. Now, see the next part. 1 mole of carbon is burnt in 16 gram of dioxide. See, 1 mole is given correct. But they are, they are telling 16 gram. 1 gram is 32 grams. 1 mole is 32 grams. 16 gram is half. 1, uh, see, 1 pen. Uh, like uh, one apple cost is uh, 32 rupees. You have 16 rupees means half apple you will be getting like that. So one mole is 32 grams. 16 grams they have given which means half a mole. Half a mole. What is the stoichiometry ratio? If it is one mole it can react with only one mole. If it is half mole it can react with only half mole. Understand if it is half mole, it can react only with a half mole. So half mole means how much? This is half mole means how much of half mole? Half mole react, we get half mole. Half mole means 22 gram. So your part B answer is 22 gram. Is it clear? See the next one. 2 moles of carbon are burnt in how many grams, see how many moles you take. But they are always reacting in 1 is to 1 ratio. This is a question based upon limiting reagent. This is a question of limiting reagent. See 2 moles of carbon that is an excess reagent because we don't want carbon 2 moles. 1 mole carbon reacts with 1 mole of oxygen. That's it. But here they have given 16 gram. 16 gram means half a mole. Half a mole of oxygen can react with half a mole of carbon and it can form half a mole of CO2 that is 22 gram. So next is part C. Part 3 answer also 22 gram. Done? Done? Now see the next question. Calculate the mass of sodium acetate required to make 500 ml of 0.375 molar aqueous solution. Molar mass of sodium acetate is. Now let us take that. Molarity is equal to formula. Weight by gram molecular weight into 1000 by V is the formula. This is the molarity formula. Then now weight is you have to find. In a question they have given molality molarity how much is the molarity 0 0.375 gram molecular weight also given in question how much 82 volume we have to find that is the logic in the question how to find the volume formula is density is equal to mass by volume so volume is equal to mass by density what is the mass of the solution, my dear students? They were telling that how much it is present? Volume is already given, no? Yeah, volume is given. Volume is given. How much is the volume? How much is the volume? Direct question. How much is the volume? 500. So, 500 ones are 502, sir. Then, 2 ones are 241. Then, multiply this. 
weight is equal to 0.375 into 41. Correct? Now let us see how I am going to do this multiplication. Three seven five forty one. Four three is twelve. How any any uh, uh, multiplication you can do? Forty nine into forty nine, fifty four into fifty four, five sixty six into five sixty. Any big uh, multiplication also you can do by using this uh, you know Vedic math uh, trick. Say four seven is twenty eight. Four five is twenty. Three one is three. Seven one zero seven five one zero five. Then you have to add diagonally. I already made a video on this. How you can do? Hmm. So I am not explaining here again. One five three seven five. How many digits I have to keep? Point after three. One two three. So it weight is fifteen point three seven five grams. Clear. In next video part two, two I'll continue the remaining questions. Every question step by step. You know, if you do like this, you won't be getting any doubt. You won't stuck at any point. If you want to learn concepts also in a crystal clear manner, many tricks. If you want to learn, you know, full syllabus from basics to depth of the subject. If you want to learn, I am taking online classes. You can, you know, send your ten mark sheet and photocopy to my WhatsApp number. You can enroll into the courses which is available. Every day coaching will be there. Weekly five days coaching will be there. Your knowledge will improve so much. You can crack your exam. You know, awesome sessions are going on. If you want to select me as your mentor, you can. Uh, you can enroll and you can uh, excel in chemistry. My name is Komali. I am your chemistry mentor. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, students. See you in the next session.